Hey, while I was testing my old new MacBook Pro, a couple of things have slipped under my radar and some potentially huge information. Question for you, which Apple product you are planning to buy next year? Please answer in the comment section below. By the way, welcome. I'm the host Marco and this is Digital Marketing Channel, the home of iPad and everything else related to Apple. If you want to catch new leaks, rumors, or check some product reviews, please subscribe, hit the like button, and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. This channel is affiliate to Mobile Pixels, a company that features some of the most unique laptop accessories. I had an opportunity to test their Duex Plus portable monitor and I loved it. It comes in three different sizes, and if second display on your MacBook is not enough, you can go three always. Check out the review as well as the link in the description and the pinned comment. Get 10% off on online purchases. Now let's go. One of the most renowned industry insiders, Mark Gurman from Bloomberg, has recently shared his take what may be featured already in March. This is no surprise since this time of the year is usually reserved for Cupertino's first annual product presentation. While product types vary from year to year, this is not uncommon timing to get new iPads. Back in 2022, the iPad Air 5th Gen has arrived and just a year later, world witness integration of the M1 silicon within the iPad Pro. Therefore, the first quarter of 2024 looks promising. Regardless if some earlier predictions from both Gurman and Ming-Chi Kuo pointed out that iPad Air and iPad Pro models could land in different parts of the year. Let's start with iPad Air times two. If we are to trust the leaks, we are getting two Air models in all new colors. While 10.9 inch version is not getting bigger screen, thus inheriting the role of existing 11 inch iPad Pro, there will be a version with more screen real estate with 12.9 inch diagonal, but sadly without mini LED, that till now has been a trademark of bigger iPad Pro variant. Perhaps Apple will at least let us enjoy promotion on this one. I personally think that this sounds like reasonable expectation, but since we are dealing with Apple here, who knows? What seems like a certainty is that iPad Air lineup will be powered by the M2 silicon with up to 8 gigs of system memory. While we have been hoping to see that base storage jump to 128 gigs, few signs of skepticism have been shown by some credible tech portals. The iPad Air is currently available starting from $599. Its 10.9 inch successor may keep its original price tag, especially if the upgrade is not as different. On the other end, 12.9 inch iteration can get that price bump with $150 or $200 more, position itself between $749 and $799. The biggest mystery, however, is Face ID. From a technological standpoint, there is no reason why not simply integrate it as a part of relocated sideways from facing shooter. On the other end, I doubt that we will see camera improvements on the back, unless Cupertino Giant decides to differentiate its bigger version from its traditionally sized mid-ranger. But the real upgrade will be featured with the launch of the next iPad Pro tablets. Entire lineup showcasing OLED technology with dual stack construction which should improve the brightness and its lifespan. That will go hand in hand with rumored display size increase, even if it's minimal. What used to be 11 inch model will become 11.1 inch version, while 12.9 inch Colossus will turn into 13 inch or maybe 13.1 inch edition. After the introduction of the newest Macs, Apple unveiled its latest series of chips, the M3. The base model will be the source of power of the upcoming professional tablets. Let's hope we will get more than 8 and 16 gigs options and that iPad OS doesn't screw things up. When we talk about storage, it's the same situation as with Air. We are looking forward 256 gigs as a starting option, but it can all remain unchanged. If there is one aspect of iPad Pro lineup that got completely ignored by leaks or rumors are its cameras, no surprise. Again, a relocated front-facing camera to the side is now considered 
listed as inevitable for all the iPads except for perhaps iPad mini. And as far as back facing shooter goes, it can easily bring the third lens or at least 48 megapixel main sensor. Wireless charging is still uncertainty, while we are getting more and more claims suggesting reimagined Magic Keyboard possibly with re-engineered connectors. The prices of both iPad Pros are expected to reach some new unpleasant heights. The smaller one ranging between $1299 and $1499, while 13-inch variant hitting as high as $1799 price mark. After years of anticipation, according to Mark Gurman, we are finally getting third iteration of Apple Pencil. We've seen many patents and predictions from sensors recognizing real-world colors to navigation into virtual space, so I will not go into much details this time. Probably the most important upgrades will be improved multi-tap gestures, new touch and sliding sensors which will allow side gestures, rolls and twists with haptic feedback. Not long ago, we've also seen rumors revealing expandability options with different kinds and sizes of pencil tips for various use case scenarios like drawing, painting and technical work. I believe that Apple Pencil 3 will not be backward compatible, and it will specifically support OLED iPads, in this case Cupertino's professional tablets only. As far as Generation 2, it will remain the main tool of choice for iPad Air users, alongside the newly introduced USB-C version. I do hope that Apple finally retires its first pencil. It's been with us for almost a decade, and even if it's still a great product. Finally, the Macs. After successful introduction of the MacBook Pro models and iMacs at the end of 2023, logical next move from Apple will be to release updated MacBook Air, both 13 and 15 inch iterations with M3 processors. With more transistors, a bit faster CPU and GPU cores with ray tracing enabled, it will be a subtle upgrade. Maybe not as worthy for someone who owns 2022 MacBook Air or even version with the M1, but everyone else who has been hesitant to leave the Intel train and switch to Apple in-house silicon. While I don't expect some price changes with these Macs, I would love to see 512 gigs as a base storage. But this is now just a bunch of speculations and summary of many rumors that we got so far. And truth be told, we are still far away from Apple's spring keynote. But we will listen and follow what's going on. And make sure you do. So please subscribe, slap that thumbs up and turn on all notifications. Thank you so much for watching Digital Markings. My name is Marco. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye-bye.